Hello my dear students once again welcome to your geography class in this class i am going to discuss the next theory or hypothesis regarding the origin of the earth from in the last class we had discussed about the planet decimal hypothesis this hypothesis was based on dualist approach okay or dualistic approach now what is dualistic approach when there will be or there were two different heavenly bodies from which earth originated that theory will be known as dualistic theory now in this theory it is also based on dualistic hypothesis theory okay because here also on the basis of two different heavenly bodies earth is going to originate now this tidal hypothesis or collision hypothesis was derived or propounded by two famous british geologists and scientists they were james and jeffries first james has propounded this theory and after that jeffries he has a uh, little bit he clarified some doubts of james okay because the theory that was uh, derived by james it was little bit uh, unrealistic so jeffries tried to correct all the unrealistic facts in that theory okay so what is this theory like the previous pre uh, sorry planet estimate hypothesis this theory is also based on two heavenly bodies okay number one is our original sun okay and number two that is intruding sun that was in planet estimate theory compendium star okay so what happened accidentally this intruding sun it came close to the original sun so previously it was like this and after one certain accident it came close to our original sun as we know that when a object will have more mass and weight its gravitational attraction or the power of gravity will be also more that's why this intruding sun they can eject this gravitational pull or huge gravitational pull on the surface of the earth because they were very close to each other i told you that when a object will be far from each another their gravitational attraction will not so much but when two objects are very close to each other and out of two if one will have more mass and weight obviously of the uh, due to the more mass and weight the gravitational pull of the bigger object will be more and like this it can influence the other object also so here intruding sun it had more gravitational pull and due to this gravitational pull what happened it just exerted its gravitational pull intrusion sun intruding sun exerted its gravitational pull over our original sun and from this sun what happened one sphere like tongue shaped matter came out and it started revolving around the sun okay so due to the rotation revolution and the gravitational attraction this sphere like structure could not go back to the sun okay like this after rotating because i told you in this theory the sun was a gaseous mass that's what the sphere like structure it will be also gaseous because it is the body or it is a part of our sun so when the gaseous object or gaseous mass is is going out from the surface of the sun then what will happen and they are just revolving around the sun so obviously cooling and solidification process will work on this particular object and due to this cooling and solidification the gaseous object also turned into a solid state when it came or it turned into a solid state it became planet estimal planet estimal means the small and tiny particles that is generally flying in the space so the bigger planet estimal it broke into so many pieces and it formed the smaller planet estimals okay so like this after the cooling and solidification of this gaseous masses i told you that planet estimals formed 
and this four planet stimulus after few years it form the body of the planet so see here the theory of chamberlain and molten and the theory of jeans and jeffries are more or less same okay so both of them they have described that there were two heavenly bodies one is sun obviously that is proto sun by chamberlain and molten and normal sun by jeffrey and jeans and one is intruding sun which is larger in shape than our original sun and though the weight and mass of the intruding sun is more that's what they can exert more gravitational pull on the other object that is our original sun and when they are pulling the original sun from the original sun one tang shaped or cigar shaped body it came out okay and now just imagine the concept of tides what happened there earth though it is larger than moon here also due to the gravity okay due to the gravitational pull of the moon the water from the earth it also exerted or it also ejected right so just imagine what happened during tides or it is bigger in shape or larger in shape and moon obviously it is smaller than earth but they are very close to each other that's why moon gravitational pull is more on earth and when moon generally exerts its gravitational pull what happened of the from the outer body of the earth tides occur or water they are generally they have the tendency to go outside from the body of the earth right so like this tides happen here also from the outer body of the sun one matter is going out so to compare both the topics they have named this uh, theory as tidal hypothesis done right? so it is all about the tidal or collision hypothesis by jeans and jeffries in the next class we are going to discuss the most important topic or most important theory regarding this origin of the earth that is big bang theory till then thank you